everyone, it's me QP83. I have a skipper highlight reel here for you. This is the 60th anniversary skipper. It is a genuine silk stone skipper, the first of its kind. Um, so when this came out, it was right before Mother's Day. And my mom was like, what do you want for Mother's Day? And this came out. So this turned out to be my uh, my Mother's Day gift for the year, which I'm very happy to have the, uh, the anniversary doll. Of course, there's, you know, and I get it. There's been some talk about like how people weren't as excited about it because it was the same skipper that basically they've released for other anniversary dolls. Um, and I get it, but this is the first silk stone, which I think makes it a little bit different. And of course I'd love just if Mattel is watching this, please just release some more interesting dolls for Skipper. Reproductions of like a Japanese Skipper would be amazing, or like a new take on a pose and play. Like, I just want to see like all the Skippers. But I think a reproduction for the 65th anniversary, this is what they need to do. Do a reproduction of a Japanese Skipper. Please. And in one of those fancy like kimonos that was only released in Japan, you can even give it that fancy uh, stand that is so hard to find, which thankfully I have thanks to a viewer um, who sold me their Japanese skipper that still had the stand. So for the 65th, do a Japanese skipper please. However, for this uh, 60th anniversary year, I am quite happy with the silk stone that you will see here in just a moment. So I know People who like silk stones or Barbie probably already opened this and received it, but you never know. Maybe you were on the fence and you weren't sure if you wanted it. This is your, your first look of it. So I love the box. I think it's really pretty. I don't have any silk stones. I don't know if other silk stone boxes look like this. I think it's really fun. So let's open her up. Da 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 da. We have Skipper in all of her glory here. So she is tied in with these ribbons. I'm hoping it's pretty easy to get her out. I know some of you are like, you're taking her out of the box. I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I want her to be on a shelf with other skippers so she can make friends. So that's that. Let's see what we do here. I'm gonna take this. Do, 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 do. So we have her certificate of authenticity. We have her stand. It says skipper on the bottom. Um, and everything here is tied. This is apparently limited to 20,000 units. I have no idea how well this sold. Um, I know some people said it was supposed to be limited to like just Barbie collector members, like the 9.99 subscription club or whatever. And then it was put up for um, just general purchasing from anyone without needing to be part of the, the extra club. So no idea how how well it's sold or if it's still on the website so if it is still on the website you should definitely check it out oh we need to do her feet can all barbie boxes just be tied up with ribbon please they don't put tabs in the head of silk stones uh, i'm not quite sure their machines know how to do knots though come on now do, 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 do. I want to say this was a Bill Greening doll. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but I think this was one that he did. So we have Skipper. The Silkstone body is really fun because it has some like weight to it. And it's very smooth like porcelain, which is great. And like I said, I don't really have any, I don't have any Silkstones. And I haven't really handled any of my mom's really. So it's the nice like heavy body. It's like if you won an award and you were like, I appreciate this, I want to thank so-and-so, thank you so much. She has bra like reddish brown hair, it looks brown, but in certain lights you will see some like reddish tones to it, which I really do like. Um, she has a pretty face, the, the face you would assume from a reproduction vintage skipper, the blue eyes, uh, the coral lip color. Um, it's just a really fun expression. It's almost reminiscent of more of like a test market skipper to me, which is nice. She of course has a silk stone body, so her limbs will move up and down, her legs will move up and down. She's wearing a reproduction red striped bathing suit, um, and her red shoes here. And this, um, like the skipper label on her arm, it's just a sticker, and mine is definitely a little bit off, so I'm just gonna fix it here. 
So there we go. I do worry sometimes with the, st the stickers, if, are they going to make it sticky? Like, <laughs> where her arm is? I don't know. I don't really have silk stones, so I, I might just end up taking it off, honestly. But she does have well-rooted hair. This is a reproduction headband, um, so no, no need to worry about green ear, folks. She w should not get green ear. She does have a stand. Um, the rest of it's in the box, and it does say skipper right there. And then she comes with two different combs. She has a comb and she has a brush um, that are perfect for her little hands. Um, and very small accessories. And that, those are the only accessories that I honestly can tell. She does have a certificate of authenticity as well. So there is that. But honestly, like, there's not a ton to say other than I think they did a great job reproducing this skipper. I do hope in future years they consider like switching up their anniversary dolls and doing something that is like less common. Um, like I was saying previously, like doing a Japanese skipper would be amazing um, in some sort of like, like limited edition kimono or something. That would be, I think, a huge seller for the, the skipper collectors out there. Um, or doing like, I don't know, doing a reproduction of, of fluff or tiff or one of those friends that's harder to find. Tiff would be also a really good reproduction one day. So I hope Mattel listens to some of the criticisms that they did get by releasing, you know, another vintage sculpt um, that they have released in the past. But I do really like this. I love that it's a silk stone. She has weight to her. But otherwise, there's not much to say other than if you did not pick one up and they are available and you are on the fence, I say go for it because she is a really nice addition to any Skipper collection. Um, and she's a Silkstone, so you really uh, you can't go, go wrong on that. So let me know your thoughts of the 60th anniversary Skipper in the comments, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.